But for a while, the city of reform has been in deep water. And by that, we mean the city has been in a difficult situation with their water supply. The city is working to fix that situation, and they are in the midst of building a new water plant. Grace Brister went to reform to learn more. And Grace, this problem has been going on for a while. Yes, it has. For decades, the city of reform has dealt with issue after issue with the water system, and in the past, they've been able to put a band aid on it. Now, through grants and a lot of deep diving, they're hoping to have a permanent fix coming to the city. Mayor Melody Davis has made it her mission to build new wells and water lines in the city of reform. To see actual water coming out of the ground has been a prayer that I've been praying for since I first became a mayor. Operations manager for Insight Engineering Jonathan Bonner says the current water system in reform hasn't been updated since 1923. And every day it's on the verge of collapse. We suffered several catastrophic losses uh, in uh, 2020, 2021, uh, where we completely lost water to the entire city. The city currently has one water supply. The limited supply, inadequate storage, water leaks, and age system calls for a lot of time spent working to maintain. And they lose about 50% of the water they produce when these leaks occur. Our first catastrophe under my mayorship, we had maybe 30% uh, of our residents without water. And it, the days went almost a week. Uh, they wasn't able to uh, drink water, bathe, wash, or anything, and it was very frustrating, very frustrating. The next phase of the project will be to make the water system more resilient overall. Right now, generally, if there's a leak in one system, the only uh, recourse the town has is to actually turn the water off to the entire town and fix a small leak. And so we're working to, um, to fix those pipes. Bonner says the next steps are to get test results back from the new well, put up a new water tank, and build a new water treatment plant. And as a reform native, he says it means an awful lot to be able to help the town have adequate, clean, safe drinking water. I'm really happy. We just have to walk it out, be prayerful, be patient, uh, but we are here. We're at a point where we'll see a uh, rainbow at the end of this dark tunnel. Right now, the money they have for this project has to be spent by September of next year.